Welcome everybody to Friday Night Lights. I'm Ashley Kaiser. Let's talk sports. This morning, the Gannon women's basketball team began their trip to St. Joseph, Missouri for the NCAA Division II Elite Eight Tournament. Students, staff, and community members gathered in town for the team's send-off. As the ladies left campus, fans held signs and gave their well wishes for the team's success in the national tournament. Gannon even had an official police escort. The Lady Golden Knights say that the abundance of community support throughout the season and of course most recently at the Atlantic Regional Tournament has been incredible. Head women's basketball coach Cleve Wright says that he's not surprised by the large turnout today. He says Gannon is a close-knit community that truly cares about their people. I mean, uh, Erie came out in force. If, if Haggerty would have been bigger, there'd have been more people there because they were sitting in the window seals and everything. So, uh, yeah, Erie was, uh, the Gannon community and the Erie community was so supportive of us and has been so supportive of us. Of us. And it, what's really hard is you can't get to see everybody, so I'll use this opportunity to say thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for uh, for supporting both teams uh, with such uh, uh, such excitement and, uh, and loud voices and screaming and hollering and so just so much fun. It's awesome, but I mean, we've known from day one, my first day on campus, Gannon has the best fans, the best boosters, the faculty are so understanding, and our fan base is just out of this world. I mean, even after the men's game, I mean, just seeing the whole community come together, I mean, their game was much more exciting than ours, but just the whole community coming together it was just so awesome. The Lady Golden Knights are the number one seed and will play number eight California State University San Marcos in the Division II quarterfinals. It's happening on Monday at 7 o'clock. The Gannon men's basketball team is also preparing for a trip to the Elite Eight. The Gannon Golden Knights will soon head to Evansville, Indiana to compete in the NCAA Division II National Tournament. And it's not very often that both the university's men and women's program advance to the Elite Eight. The men's team said that it's been inspiring to progress alongside the women's team and their success has also pushed them to work even harder. We've just been each other's biggest fans throughout the whole year, so like seeing us succeed and <coughs> split in a regional, like a this is my first year in Division Two. I don't know how rare it is, but apparently it's it's very rare. And for us to be going to the Elite Eight together, it's off. Awesome. It's just it's just incredible. We're definitely their biggest supporters every day. We, they work out like before us. So we always encourage them to get in the gym. And I think there's also like a an internal competitive factor. We mm -hmm. we saw them hang up a banner earlier, like two hours before. So we figured out in the locker room stand, we wanted that same feeling. So I think that not only they're supportive of them, we just you know have that internal competitive nature. That's that's as good for the both programs honestly. The send-off for the men's team is on Saturday at 9 30. If you would like to show your community support, get a holds the number three seed and will face the number six seeded California State University San Bernardino on Tuesday at the Ford Center at one o'clock. Continuing the topic of nationals, the Gannon cheerleading and dance teams getting ready to compete at the NCA and NDA Collegiate Cheer and Dance Championship. The program's competitive teams will put on their annual Road to Daytona showcase this Saturday. The Golden Knights and several other college spirit programs will be performing at the meet. That includes Edinburgh, Penn State Barron, Point Park, and Ohio State. Gannon will also be celebrating their senior athletes. Gannon's Road to Daytona Showcase is happening this Saturday at Erie Sports Center. The event starts at 1230. It's free for you to attend, but they're asking for donations to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Coming up next on Friday Night Lights, we'll hear from the voice of the Erie Otters. Don't go anywhere.